Hey guys, Aubrey here and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be playing Assetto Corsa. You are looking at the old Bach Kalana. It's a prototype created by IER Simulations alongside a Estonian engineering firm called Olbach. The mod is a virtual simulation version of a race car designed to be a very fast track tool. You can purchase the mod from IER Simulations. Uh, it's about $5.99 US dollars. The car has been designed around a significant amount of downforce for very fast core speeds. Uh, the car is powered by a Judd V8 engine. Uh, it screams at 11,000 RPM. The engine produces about 610 horsepower with 465 newton meters of torque. It produces speeds of around 300 kilometers an hour, which is extremely fast. The car comes equipped with the dual traction control system uh, ABS. It's got adjustable front splitter and a rear wing, um, so you can tune uh, downforce really well with this car. Uh, the TC, as I said before, is a dual dual stage adjustment for more fine tuning of the traction control system. Now, there's a few things to point out with this car um, and uh, one of them is the uh, the force feedback is uh, very heavy. Uh, it does have an extreme amount of detail and that's probably why it's the way it is but uh, with the per car adjustment I had to put it all the way down to 50% um, using the um, Club Sport DD and I've got it, uh, the base set at 50 Newton meters, uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, the per car setup on this one, I have it 50%. Uh, it, is, uh, it has quite a bit of uh, center torque, you know, with the steering, so uh, from the center it feels like it's a little bit over-exaggerated uh, from center. Um, it's not as, not as smooth as it should be, I don't think, um, from center when you turn the steering in small amounts from left to right. Uh, but you can tune that, I tuned it, uh, and the uh, force feedback is just uh, really exceptional in this car. It uh, gives you plenty of detail, like a, a crazy amount of detail. You can feel everything, uh, you can feel all the steering. Uh, it's very easy to catch a slide with this car. And speaking of slides, you're going to be sliding this car a lot until you get some heat into these tyres. Um, you start driving this car, you'll know straight away what I mean uh, the, the, when the tyres are stone cold. Uh, you have to baby this car around the track and get some heat into the tyres. Uh, it also uh, really forces you to get the most out of this car because if you don't drive this car fast, you're not going to get enough heat into the tyres. Uh, I think that's just, I mean, it's basically a race car, so, uh, well, it is a full blown race car, so uh, it's not designed to be driven slowly. Uh, that's to say the least. So you really need to get some heat into the tyres, um, even if you bring up the uh, little app window like I did, uh, just to keep an eye on the uh, tyre the temperature. Uh, you can feel it as well anyway. You can definitely feel the difference as the tyres heating up. So it does make the car very hard to drive with cold tyres. Uh, there is only one set of um, one set of tyres, dry tyres, uh, and they're a medium compound. Uh, the other tyre it comes with is a wet compound. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you get some heat to this car, uh, into the tyres and brakes. So the car does have a fairly steep learning curve to drive. Uh, it's not going to drive like a lot of other cars out there. Uh, it is being designed this way uh, for training purposes, uh, as well as if for everybody to use and purchase. Um, so it is going to teach you a few, few things uh, when driving this car. Uh, it's definitely not as easy as other cars to drive. Uh, there's only one version of the car. Uh, once you buy it, you download it, install it, and then you just drive it. Uh, there's no other different CSP versions and non-CSP versions. It's just a, a raw uh, engineered car to train and to use as a uh, an, an absolute track weapon. Uh, for smashing lap records and, and that's exactly what it does. It's a lot of fun. It has all the usual setup options. Uh, it doesn't have uh, quite as much um, options and detail as uh, say a car from racing studio or virtual racing cars. Uh, but they obviously see that this is all you need to set the car up um, how it would be in real life. Uh, and that's, you know, it gives you those uh, options. Um, so you can change the front, front splitter. Uh, you can change the uh, the rear wing has a few settings. Uh, the gears, the gearbox is an adjustable. Uh, it would have been nice to have a, an adjustable gearbox for this thing. It has a very tall first gear. I have noticed that with the IER simulations vehicles. Uh, I don't know what they're like in real life. I've never driven any of the cars in real life, but um, I don't know if that's just a prototype and hypercar type of thing. 
uh, from Druitch Racing Cars to have that kind of gear set up, but uh, it really does seem like I have a, an overly exaggerated tall first gear, but it, when you're on the track and you're, you're full speed, it uh, doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, you use first gear, seems really well uh, geared for the slow corners anyway. Uh, the only thing I would say is it just feels a bit weird to be pulling away and let the clutch out. It just, it just feels a bit strange pulling away with such a tall first gear. Overall guys, I highly recommend this car. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, once you spend a bit of time with it, you'll love it. Uh, once you you learn it uh, and you get good at driving it, uh, it, it, it feels good to be driving this car fast, let me tell you. Just um, you improve your lap times. I mean, that's what the car in real life has been designed uh, for as well. So um, you get better at it, you get faster, and um, you learn it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So, guys, I'll leave you with some more laps, um, and we'll hear some onboard uh, audio at full volume, and we'll hear some external sounds of that fantastic Judd V8 engine. Uh, we'll leave you with, with a few laps. And uh, if you like my content, guys, leave a thumbs up, really helps my channel. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, just um, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.